it's okay. Of course I say that. Can't feel the middle, but it should be okay. Yeah, so we have a lot more traffic out here than we used to, and we have a lot more rainfall. So those two things combined make traveling down any dirt road uh, <laughs> a very unsure experience. So like this puddle, although it was fine last year, there could be a three foot rut in it this year. So every time you come up to one of these, and there's a lot of them, you gotta get out and check it out because otherwise you could ruin your vehicle. So this one looks okay. We'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna go slow. I really don't wanna get us stuck today, so. So yeah, we're just headed to a pond that has been, you know, pretty badly beat up by uh, ATVs and Jeeps and such. And we don't have a barrier in there yet, so hopefully, you know, maybe we can take a couple pictures and you know, try to get it, get that done. When, when dispatch answers, I'm gonna give you a GPS point, uh -huh. but you can say that we're just um, we're just east of the um, at uh, the uh, Atco Dragway, okay. and there's some guys just really going after the roads, just mudding in the in the roads themselves in a uh, it's a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee. 97 ish. Hi, um, we just wanted to report some people ripping up roads east of the Atco Dragway in Warren State Forest. In Warren State Forest. They don't have a tow hitch on their Jeep. And there's no real good attachment point to uh, tow them out with. We'll probably rig something out. I wasn't really looking to go for a swim underneath the Jeep today, but uh, probably want to pull them out of there in, uh, in a second. It wasn't too far. We were almost there. You know, when your shit's dirt, wet nasty low. <laughs> wet nasty low. What made you think you were going to make it through this one? I thought I, I think I have everything. Yeah, you gotta I didn't have it that confidence. time. You ain't going with enough confidence to get yeah, yeah, I saw I slowed down. You guys from the Pines? Nah. nah. You're from the South. 
He's from Virginia. Oh yeah? Yeah. We just out here doing some mud. Oh, it's $500 beater. It is about to be great. You came, did you come all the way up here? Yeah. Yeah. About four hours. Ain't that bad. Make a nah, that's five. Five? Yeah, it's five. Man, that's the wheel right. Yeah, you gotta get the whole, the whole rear of the car. There's like a frame right here before the bumper if you want to look at it. Okay. Yeah. This is some water. This is some cold ass water. This is like hypothermia water. You feel so cold. This is cold, cold. God damn. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's Jersey. It's cold here. Sure went to uh, South Carolina. Yeah, I know. Any of you guys want a cup of coffee? Uh, I'm okay. What do you look? You want a cup of coffee? I'm good. Right. Appreciate it, man. Warm cup. All right. Let's... Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank See you if it not, not sounds better in a couple minutes. <laughs> Yeah, come, yeah, come over here. I mean, the tires are like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not even in that bad. You kind of seem conflicted whether those guys should get in trouble or not. Well, because they're just one little piece of the puzzle. It isn't just the individual, it's, it's the management <laughs> that allows for that behavior to exist and the culture that allows for that behavior to exist. So I don't want those guys to get hammered with, with a bunch of fines. I want the management system to change in a way that makes that kind of behavior less uh, attractive and less acceptable. We met some guys today earlier, nice guys, who sure. obviously voice that they do not want their road access restricted in the Pine Barrens. If you were talking to them directly, what would you tell them? So I sympathize with them. You know, back back in the old days, um, there weren't as many people out doing this. But today, we have thousands of people coming from all out of, out of state, other areas, and the state forest, it just can't handle that kind of use like it used to when, when it was only a couple of people. There's just so much that it can take before systems start collapsing. And what we're seeing right now is that the road infrastructure itself is collapsing and becoming unaccessible to the general public. So I would say the times have changed and we need to adapt to adjust to those times.